programs. Welcome back to Arc New Reviews, and welcome to one of my rare non-Transformer videos. Though, still, still a Hasbro figure. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Return of the Jedi Star Wars Black Series Boba Fett. Now, I know I'm being very specific. Um, I'll even show you the box just to specify which one. I know there's other Boba Fett releases. I'm sure there's going to be a Mandalorian Boba Fett out at some point. So, just to clear up any, you know, which one am I talking about? I'm talking about the one that comes in that box. And, holy cow, I love this figure. He's a little lower than I expected him to be. Um, yeah, this is easily, easily the best Star Wars Black Series figure I have seen. Right now, my two-second rant, though, before I get going here. Why can't they come with stands? This is a stand that I got with a stupid, like, Tron figure that they were selling at Walgreens, of all places. Hasbro, seriously. This thing would cost you, like, three cents to put in the box. Put this in the box with Marvel Legends and Black Series and anything else. You give us the holes for, to use these stands. Actually sell us the stand, too. Thank you. Rant aside. Yes, Boba Fett. He is awesome. I adore this figure so much, actually. Um, amazing, amazing detail on him. Yes, they did miss a little bit right there around the visor, if you can see. Um, funny enough, though, I've only seen it like when I'm zoomed up in the camera. Normal life, you do not see that. I could probably just fix that with a Sharpie, even. It's so minor. But, yeah, just... I, I cannot get over the amount of detail on this guy. It is quite insane... He does come with his jetpack. It is removable. So we will take this off for a while. You can see it mounts with a hole there and then two pegs or tabs on the side so it stays straight. Appreciated feature, actually. Um, I guess I, I'm not sure where to start on this guy. I guess we'll go in with the articulation. Uh, the head is on a double ball joint, so you actually get like a little bit of shifting here and there you can see kind of the the neck itself is moving as well as the head so really good not just a good range of motion but a very realistic range of motion as well you know, he does this feels like a person in the way that it moves and articulates so that's already incredible um you got Really good range of motion here on the shoulder. I'm sure I could spin the shoulder all the way around, but I don't want to. These uh, shoulder pads are made of something a little bit soft, so that they do move nice to accommodate your posing. Same on this side without the... I can't remember what kind of skull that is. I, I used to remember, but the, the, the Mandalorian skull symbol or whatever. So, really good range of motion there. Got a swivel just above the elbow, yet not quite 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. And then actually you have a swivel right in front of the elbow as well for the stuff on his arm. And then you have the usual rotation and a hinge right there for the hand as well. Weirdly enough, it looks like they used a mold for a like a normal hand instead of a gloved hand. So that's a little strange, but uh, okay then. I mean, it still works. Um, he does have an arcing back, ab crunch, torso tilt, twist. <laughs> a lot of motion there. Uh, this little piece, whatever this is, I'm sorry, I'm not up on my Django Fett lore. Django Fett. Boba Fett. Wow, the internet is going to crucify me now. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, this piece is also a soft plastic, so it moves out of the way. Uh, these little tubes on his arm, also soft plastic, so as you move this 
elbow they flex to accommodate. Um, so you've got your torso twist right there. Then you've got, I think, a ball joint for the hip there. So you can kick out about that far. Forward. Not really anything back, though. Uh, the belt and its little bags are completely separate piece, so they just shift around and move as needed. Um, you got a swivel right there in the thigh. Got 90 degree bend at the knee, which is nice. Though the knee feels a tiny bit lower than it should be. Not sure on that one, but it feels a little low. Then you've got a rotation right there as well. And then weirdly enough, I expected a rotation at the ankle, but you do only have this knee one. And then the ankle can go back and forth as well as it's got tilt. But yeah, the rotation is handled up here at the knee, which on the one hand is weird, but on the other hand, it does it does a lot to keep this guy from breaking his mold and you know keeping that really good realistic look going. So I can understand why it's like that. But yeah, so already figure itself is awesome. But oh my word, does it come with accessories. There's obviously the gun in his hand. Uh, due to the nature of, you know, getting weapons like this in and out of these figures' hands, uh, I'm going to just leave it here. But, you know, th this gun is obviously a separate piece. Then, for the back, the jetpack, if I can get him to stand... This is what I get for taking him off of his stand. Now he just wants to fall over. We're going to lay him down then. Um, the jetpack also has a really, really great paint job on it. Uh, the missile is actually removable, so he can <clears throat> fire the missile if you want. And then the little rocket boosters here are on a swivel. And he comes with blast effects. So you can pop these in. And actually get him in a, you know, full-on flying pose. If you have a flight stand. And I know, like, just two videos after I say, Ooh, I've got a flight stand. Yeah, I have a flight stand that uh, has no way to accommodate this guy. Unless I, like peg it in his foot or something, and I don't trust it doing that, so. But yeah, if you've got some kind of stand that can use it, you've got that, which is really nice touch. He does also come with, stand up, boy, stand up. There, we'll give him a sassy pose. Aww. Okay, you know what? Putting you back on the stand so that we can keep your sassy pose. <laughs> um, he does also come with his little grappling hook, which is just on a string, and then there's a little piece right there that you just snap on over his wrist. I, I don't see the point of giving him this. This doesn't do much other than just give him a piece hanging off. So, uh, Cool that they added it, I guess. But then for some actually cool accessories, he comes with a second copy of that gun. But this one cut in half. So that's actually a really neat touch. Uh, you can put it back together if you want. I don't know why they gave it a tab to put it back together. I'm sure someone will know somewhere in a comic or something there's a reason for that. But, yeah, you, you can cut the gun in half and have it in two halves. Have him hold, you know, just the, the cut-off piece in there. And then my favorite accessory he comes with, it's actually just another blast effect. But it's this big, big, long fire blast that... For some reason, the camera does not want to focus on. Yes, yeah, this really nice fire blast. Really long, actually. And that 
if I'm understanding correctly, goes on over this arm. It is molded at an angle, so you want to make sure you put it on the right direction. But you can do that and give him his flamethrower. So, yeah, um, I know this is kind of, you know, above my pay grade in terms of reviewing, but... I think this figure is awesome. I wanted to throw him in front of the camera and just rattle on about him a little bit. You know what, for fun even, here's a five second comparison. Here he is next to my Beskar armor, Mando. I can't remember his real name, so to me he's still Mando. I have not actually seen season two at all, still. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think these two look really good together, though I am sure we're going to get a different figure to have a proper The Mandalorian Boba Fett. But already, yeah, this figure is super cool. It comes with quite a bit of stuff to gunk on him. Good use of, you know, the softer rubber plastics in different places so that he can maintain posability. Oh, and even uh, the little antenna on his head here is actually on a little hinge so yeah it, all kinds of really really great stuff here to be honest so if you like Boba Fett which many of us do uh yeah this guy is really good if you go pick him up so thank you guys for watching and as always I will see you next time